Hey YouTube, this is um, RoboNuts1 here, doing a, another collected edition. Um, <coughs> I have here Wonder Woman, the first six issues, Wonder Woman issue one, two, three, Four, five, and six. Um, the story um basically begins with Zeus is missing. Um, Apollo, the um sun god, um, is speaking with his oracles, um, about his disappearance. Um, that bit was kind of cool, because, um, it's very, very modern. Like, um, they're at the most tallest building in, um, Singapore. Um, <coughs> and it's sort of like, um, mirroring Olympus, in a way. Um, these three oracles speak of a prophecy about um, that a child of Zeus will replace um, a god and... Um, Yeah, that's basically it. Sorry, my brain went kapooey. Um, meanwhile, a group, um, Hera, the, um, Zeus's wife, um, sends out assassins, um, in the form of centaurs. Um, she, she beheads a, a white horse, and it was gruesome how the, um, how the human part of the centaur clawed its way out of the horse's neck. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, anyway. She sends these two centaurs out to go kill, um, Zola, who is pregnant with Zeus's baby. Um, Hermes, the messenger god, um, protects her from the centaurs and, um, Tosses Zola a key, which gives her, um, which basically teleports her to London, where Wonder Woman is. Um, Diana does not question why a American girl is in her room. Like, at all. I was like, really? You're not going to question why she's in your room? Like, they have a confrontation, but it's like, it's over like that. Like that. You know, it was kind of ridiculous. Um, and then they sort of end up in, um, the Paradise Island, with no explanation to how they got there. Um, but in issue two, um, Hera, um, has some very, very good, um, story 
arc. Um, Hera is just good, um, in general. Like, the way that she deals with her husband, you know, is very believable. Like, her husband has cheated more times than any marriage would really be able to take. Um, and she acts exactly how, you know, someone who has been cheated on would act. Um, and it also matches the myth that Zeus would often, um, in Greek mythology, Zeus would often sleep around with mortal women. So it's quite interesting to see Hera's reaction to that. Um, and how Zeus goes about doing that is he will shapeshift into, um, into what women what his chosen woman finds attractive. In the case of Zola, um, this was pretty much any guy she met. Because Zola wants to feel loved. And, um, on an island full of independent w w women, that's kind of, an, kind of interesting. Because Wonder Woman is an independent woman. You know, as are many of the people on Paradise Island. Um, we also get the background um, of Wonder Woman. Like, um, They use the modern age um, origin as a cover because in the reboot it's um, Diana is the daughter of Zeus and Hippolyta and Hippolyta had to lie excuse me had to lie in order to protect, uh, excuse me, <laughs> Diana from Hera. Um, I felt that Diana handled that badly, um, but, yeah, she handled that very, very badly, in my opinion. Um, as did, for some reason, um, everyone on Paradise Island. That made no sense. Um, sorry, I'm just reading my notes. In issue four, um, there's the fallout of... Of that, like in issue four, um, Diana sort of learns that she's very lucky to have a mother, you know, and all she ever wanted was to be blood related to her mother, and now that she is, um, she has to come to terms with that. Um, the best bit about issue four was that, um, was the battle between Hera and, well, not battle, but the confrontation between Hera and Hippolyta. That was awesome. Like, um, Hippolyta comes to Paradise Island and there's like, and there's storms going on 
in the background. It was just really cool. Like, and the rain goes down. It, it was just really cool. Um, and also, both of these people have been wronged by Zeus. But both of them handle it very differently. Like, Hera has chosen to become, you know, Hera has been hardened by Zeus. Whereas Hippolyta is exactly the opposite. She loves, you know, she loves her daughter, she loves her people. And that's what inspires loyalty. Something which Hera does not understand. Um, so by issue 5 and 6, we have the introduction to um, Poseidon and Hades. So stay tuned for part 2, because... Um, I'm on my iPad and um, it doesn't go beyond.